Hello everyone. My name's Vicki. Welcome to the nursery. Guys, I just wanted you to see him. Uh, I got this little baby the other day. And I showed when I first unboxed him. Now, uh, after I got off camera, his painting was pretty good, guys. Uh, the only thing was is that he hadn't had any creasing done. None. And he didn't have any eyebrows. And uh, they may have done that because he's so newborn looking, I'm not sure. I'm still having a problem with his eyes down in here getting that glue off. They've had uh, um, the applied lashes on him and took them off. But uh, I gave him some uh, eyebrows. I'd done his creases. I washed his little clothes he came in. I don't have much in preemie way, but this is a little receiving blanket he was in when I got him. And he had on a cute little pair of little gray like sweatpants. And then a, a light blue striped top that's got a line on it and said handsome and then his little undershirt he had on was a gray and dark blue stripe uh little onesie with a little alligator on it so i just i washed all these up i put some good smelly beads in the wash man they smell so good now um and i did do some more of his paint now i want to i want to show you the creases i had to do the creases he didn't have no creasing done at all that whoever painted him didn't do the creasing and then uh, his eyes, like I said, he didn't have no eyebrows. Now, I've done his eyebrows because I want him to look so newborn looking. He's going to stay bald. I've decided I'm going to leave him bald. Oh, and his veining, veining wasn't great either. So, I did give him some more veins. Um, I gave him a few veins, a few more veins. Uh, not many. He didn't have no bluing like in here. So, I blued that up a little bit. I wanted him to look like a brand new baby. And he is a preemie, guys. So, they are uh, preemies. To me, in my eyes, are um, they're more reddish toned. They got more of a reddish, pinkish, reddish tone to them. They also have a lot of blues in their skin because their skin's not, you know, fully developed there real well. So I gave him some bluing right in here and right in here and then right across here and in the eyes to give him a little bit more of a bluing effect there. I don't know if you can even see it or not. I can. But I wanted him to look a little bit more bluer. Then I also gave him some in his uh, palms of his hands and on his feet, behind his toes. I gave him some bling behind the toes, in the in the feet here, behind the toes, and then the feet here. I get uh oh, he's got something on him there. What is that? Huh? I what that was? What? Must be a baby powder. I had it there. Um. Anyway, bluing in here. Bluing behind the toes. In the creases of the arms, I blued it up some. You know, just the typical places. Behind the knees. Uh, gave him a little bit more bluing. And then I did do a few more veins. Just a few. Right here's one. One here. Just a few here and there on his hands. And his feet. So I did do that. Um, I gave him some eyebrows. I may have said that. Did I say that? Sorry about that, guys. Uh... I did leave him bald, but I done him some blonde. He didn't have any eyelashes at all. So I done him just very, very blonde, real light eyelashes. Didn't want him to have too many. Just a few little short eyelashes. Very light brows. Because I want him to stay as newborn looking as I could get him. And he turned out great, guys. You can see him. I reweighted him, by the way. Now, guys, you got to remember this kit. Let me let me up my camera just a little, guys. You got to remember on this kit, this is a very old kit. And this painting and stuff was done. There's no telling how long ago the painting on him. So, uh, I did repaint him just a little. Touched him up was all. And then I did remove all the his insides. I took all that and I threw it away because, guys, he had the, um, the stuffing. Was that real hard? coarse i should say stuffing in him his weighting in his tummy and in his head was like the bb's uh you know steel balls whatever you want to call them kind of like bb's goes in a bb gun uh they done that before they you know i think before they got the glass beads that was kind of popular with people to weight the babies with and uh he had some poly pellets of course and i don't even use poly pellets because guys i'll tell you why i mean they're okay if you want to use them i'm not down on them Anybody uses them, that's great. It's just they're not, I don't like them because they're lightweight. They don't add no weight and they're just little plastic things. I just, I don't care for them. But that's my own preference. Everybody has their own preference. You know, you can still get those though. But anyway, that's what he was weighted with. 
Um, now, in his legs and his arms, he had a waiting. It was glass beads, but it was real fine, real fine, fine, fine glass beads, which I do use them sometimes now, too. They're, they're white, um, you know, but they are glass. And, um, but they're just super, super fine, almost like a dust, just pretty close to sand. That's what I should say. But now, they are glass beads, guys. I do still use those from time to time. Only in the uh, arms and legs, guys, because it can't come out. Now, I never use that in my, like, in, inside. But I don't use them a lot. It's just if I get short on my glass beads and I don't have none handy readily, you know, I will use them sometimes in the hands or the arms and the uh, legs and feet. Uh, never in the body because they can sift through the uh, the stocking that you put them in. So, I never use them in that. But, I, he didn't have a magnet. So, I did give him a magnet. Not that I'll even use a passy with him. I just... Guys, I'm not real big on using pa passies on my babies. Um, maybe once in a while just for show. And then lay them around for like a prop. Um, but, as far as using them, using them, I really don't. Because I like to see their beautiful little faces not covered up with a passy. And, uh... But, that, like, as, that's everybody's own personal preference too, you know, guys. That's just me. Uh, I'm just, you know, telling you what I do. But anyway, uh, I I gave him some real light blonde lashes. He's, I'm still trying to get this glue off on his eye. I didn't take his eyes out. I guess I should have and cleaned them and put them back in. But uh, they were sealed up at the back. And God, I didn't want to disturb that because I was afraid that maybe I couldn't get them sealed back at the back. So uh, I didn't want to disturb it. So I'm just trying to get the glue from the outside. But I will eventually get it all off of him. Uh, just takes time. Stuff like that does, but there's my little boy. This is little Danny. He's so tiny, guys. He's a little bitty preemie. There's his little bald head. He's got nice modeling. Whoever modeled him did model him really well. Oh, and he, his neck wouldn't turn either, so I gave him a neck ring so he can turn his head. And then, of course, this is three quarters, so it moves easily anyway. But there is my sweet Danny, my sweet little Danny. And for those of you that didn't see the unboxing of little Danny, this is the case and sculpt. He's very long sold out, guys, very rare. And he's been sold out for a long, long time. And so I got him off eBay. Uh, he is the case and sculpt, sculpted by Bobby Perez. His was a limited, he is a limited edition kit, number 53 out of 250. You don't hardly see these anymore, guys. They're gone. So, there he is on, that's his COA, Trueborns. So, there's my baby. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm putting back in the little receipt and like chat him out. I like this on him. It's, um, I did wash all this stuff, guys, and hit. Ah, oh, I put those drift beads in with the wash. And it smells so great. It smells so great. His little clothes, too. He, I completely, um, I completely just took everything out of him, guys. Washed him. Uh, I, I'm not saying anybody, that's not what I'm meaning, guys. I don't want people to think that I'm coming across as saying certain people has the virus. I'm not doing that at all. It's just for my own protection. So, I did take him completely apart. I'm going to swaddle him. But I'm going to leave his little arms sticking out. But see, this just fits him perfect because he's so small. See that? And I just love that little blanket she sent. It's a little receiving blanket. I love that on him. It's so small. He's so small, rather. It really, a big blanket just would just cover him up. But anyway, um, I did take him completely apart. Like I said, I threw all of the stuffing away, the little BBs that he was weighted with. I threw all that in the washer. I even threw his body in there and washed it. Uh, he only had string ties, so I threw those away. I don't like string ties either. Um, I used the cable uh, on the cables on the you know zip ties, whatever you call them. Uh, I use those on the arms and the and like the neck and stuff like that. I don't use the strings. I pull those out, put uh, the zip ties in. And so I threw those away. But I did wash the body and all of his little clothes, his blanket and stuff. And then I washed him really well in the sink with some good hot soapy water. I brought him back in and I started painting, putting some coats of paint on. Just a little bit. Didn't repaint. Just kind of touched up 
a little bit. I done his creasing, as I said, and uh, he did have a little bit of paint missing right here. I tried to do that the best I can. The inside of this eye still looks pretty pale. I may have to come back in with a little bit more um, paint, uh, maybe a pinkish color, and go right in there in the eyes because it just still does look pale. But his nails were gorgeous, so I didn't mess with those. After I got done, of course, I had to re-gloss them, and then I re-glossed his lips. So there he is. He's already. He's clean. He smells just like a brand new baby. With I put that. Um, I use the drift beads in my baby clothes when I'm washing them, and I washed all that up. And so he smells great right now. Oh, he did come. I washed this too. He came with this little crochet hat. I put that on his little head. It's cold here again today, guys. It's been a bit in the 70s and then right at 80 and very nice outside now it's cold here again today but we do get these little spells that comes through after spring in the spring you know uh, we always call them when the dogwoods are blooming we call it dogwood winter the old folks did and then in the when the blackberries start blooming if you'll notice uh well if you don't live in the mountains you probably don't notice but i notice uh it'll get a little cool spell then and um we call that blackberry winter and so, there he is. I just wanted you guys to see him after I got his paint touched up and got him all, everything washed on him, all of his clothes, his body and everything, and got his paint touched up, gave him some eyebrows and eyelashes and done his creases, and gave him a, I did give him a, a flesh tone, my own flesh tone, one. I, I, I just tend to, I tend to do my babies just a little bit darker. I don't do my babies so pale anymore. So, I did give him one little flesh tone. Made him just a little bit darker. But, anyway, there's my little Danny. He's all ready to go in the crib. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I hope everybody's doing okay. I, uh, everybody, uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Leslie at uh, Gibby Gal, I believe it's 79. Her son has really sick. We can go over and check out her video. He has the coronavirus. COVID-19, and um, if everybody will, you know, um, she said he was pretty sick. I haven't checked with her today. I'm going to, I might try messaging her today and find out more about him, how he's doing now. He was really sick, though, the other day when she made her video a couple of days ago, and uh, she was really upset, guys. So, if anybody, everybody will, please keep her son in your prayers, and her also, guys, help, help pray for her to be strong through this. You know, we're going to get through this, guys. We just got, we got to just, we have to just hunker down and ride the storm out, guys. And we will get through this. But just keep her and her son, especially, in your prayers. Okay, guys, that's it. I will see you soon in a new video. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. Talk to you soon in a new video. Bye-bye.